I have once again been trawling the bowels of Amazon to find interesting aquarium products to look at. And this particular product took me quite a while to find because it is hidden within the depth of the aquarium filter media. It is a product which has very polarized and mixed reviews about it. Some people think it's a scam and some people think it actually works quite well. In this video, I'm gonna be having a look at it and we're gonna be discussing its pros and cons and what I actually think this product is about. I haven't actually had a look at it yet. It's still within its packing. This is how it came in an Amazon box wrapped in a cube of polystyrene foam. Being a fragile object, I hope it is in one piece when I open it up. Before we open it up, let's have a look at the packet here. Gabuta Eco Aquarium Water Purifier Cube, Ecological Aquarium Water Purifier Fish Tank, New Filter Material Fast Water Purification Fast Clean Activated Carbon Aquarium. Bit of a mouthful. They should have chosen a bit of a shorter name for it, but you get the idea of what is in this packet. So without further ado, let's use my trusty rusty razor blade and have a look. Ooh, so it is in one piece, which is great news. Obviously I've managed to open the interesting side of the packet and here we can see the honeycomb design, or at least it's described as a honeycomb. It's not quite six sided hexagonal, is it? But it looks pretty cool. I'll just open up the rest of the product and we'll have a look in greater depth. Well here it is, and it's travelled actually remarkably well considering it was just in a cube of packing foam. Now, on the surface, this looks like a remarkably cool and well built little thing. It is actually made from activated carbon, so I'm not actually entirely sure how you would go about making this. I assume it's extruded because you've got these lines here, so I guess there's just a massive mold where it just forces um, carbon which is probably in a liquid form into it and then it dries it out and then they either cut it into blocks or it's extruded into little blocks who knows that's my theory and you can see the light going through it these little holes go all the way through this cube it's quite a large block there are other sizes available in this and although i bought this one from gabuta there seems to be many, many sellers offering this same kind of thing. So I imagine that there's a huge factory somewhere in China pumping these out and people can just buy them and rebrand them for themselves. In fact, most of the sellers are Chinese companies, so that makes a lot of sense to me. But that doesn't mean it's a bad product. Okay, so we're gonna just put it into this tank here. Now, I haven't got any really dirty tanks, unfortunately. I've only got this tank, which I'm in the middle of breaking down, so that's why it looks so rough, but it's still quite clear. There's no real issues in this tank in terms of water clarity or quality. It just looks a little bit rough. So, I'm gonna put this in here anyway, for no other reason than the videos I've seen of it it looks quite awesome when you put it into the water because those are bubbles come out. So let's have a look at how that works. And yes, it does look pretty cool, doesn't it? I mean, yeah, not too bad. Obviously, that's just air coming out of the activated carbon as the water goes into it. Um, it's a cool little show and it's one of the main sort of selling points that they're using when they uh, make videos about these things but it's just trapped air leaving. It's not oxidization, it's not your tank becoming more clear and pure, it's air leaving the, uh, the cube and all the surfaces inside of it. Now as we can see this is a 120 litre tank and if you were to put this cube inside of one of these size tanks it looks quite imposing it looks um, something like from a 2001 Space Odyssey. But unfortunately, this isn't a new dawn of aquarium filtration. It is just a massive black cube of carbon. Now, there's quite a lot of polarization about this product because of the claims that the sellers are making as to what this can do for your aquarium. Now, we're all pretty familiar with activated carbon. We know that activated carbon is beneficial in some respects to your aquarium. It will remove tannins, colorants and odors and also medications from your aquarium water. That's all well established um, and we can get down with that. 
And this being activated carbon, or at least it says it's activated carbon, we can assume that this product will also remove those things from your aquarium. That is not something um, which I think is that disputable. The problem comes when you start looking at the claims that the sellers think that this item can do. Essentially, they are telling you that this can go into your aquarium, uh, it's all you're really going to need. Some sellers tell you to put it into flow, some sellers don't. Some just say drop it in your aquarium and jobs are good. And essentially, they're claiming this product will do everything. It will act as biological filtration, it will act as chemical filtration, it will also act as your mechanical filtration. Now, carbon will and can help to clear aquariums. So, they're not unfounded claims. The problem being is that this is not going to act as a biological filtration unless you leave it in your aquarium for a very long time and allow the surface area to be covered in bacteria then it will do a bit of bi biological bacteria filtration however by that time the chemical aspect of this carbon would have been used up and uh, it's not going to work and mechanically this isn't designed like a filter sponge to trap debris it's not going to trap dirt um, it's not going to absorb ammonia or nitrite or nitrate as some other sellers are saying. All of that is unfounded. Now these can be washed, carbon can be reused a couple of times. If you wash it in distilled water or if you um, use uh, RO water or sometimes it's uh, I think hydrochloric acid something like that, it can help to clean the carbon. You can also bake them in the oven to remove the odours and reuse. So the washing aspect of this makes sense. The problem is the description where they are saying this will do everything and replace your entire filtration system. It's completely rubbish. Now this is the problem because some people have jumped onto this product and said that it's a scam. I don't think it's a scam. I think that this product probably could be useful in certain ways. So if we're just going to be using it as a carbon block, so that would probably work. You would need to put this into your sump or into an area of your aquarium with high flow. Now bearing in mind the size of this, it's quite a big item. If you look at this one, we're four inch cube. Now in a big aquarium, that might not seem quite that large, but in most people's aquariums, which are roughly like 100 litres or so, a 4-inch cube is going to be looking pretty big inside of that fish tank. So you're not really going to want to put that in there. Most tanks don't have an area behind them for a filtration block this big. So really, this is only that useful for people with sumps, so marine aquariums, where, to be honest, a carbon block like this might be useful. If you blast flow through it, put a power head on one end and blast the flow, you might get some good carbon use, carbon trapping of um, odours and tannins and medication potentially. This could be quite a useful product. So I don't agree with the people that are saying that this is a scam. I just think it's badly and unfairly marketed as a wonder cube which will do everything. I think the Chinese sellers have got a really responsible job to just say that this won't absorb ammonia. This isn't going to um, act as a mechanical and a biological filter as well as chemical. But if you think if carbon could do all of those things, aquarium companies would have been just using carbon in their filters forever. We wouldn't have sponges or other types of biological media. We'd just be using this. Now there are a couple of people that have looked at this and tested it in their aquariums. I haven't got an aquarium to test it in and to be fair I think testing it is a bit of a waste of time because what are we expecting to happen? We know it is activated carbon in a cube. We know that it's not going to work as a biological filter and we know that it's not going to work as a mechanical filtration. We know again that this is activated carbon and those properties are known to us and what they do. So the only expected result of activated carbon in an aquarium would be the water would get a little bit clearer in terms of tannins removed, organic matter removed, and also any smells might also be removed. That is it. That is all this is going to do. And I think if you were going to be using this product for that purpose, then that would actually be fine because I can't see why this is actually a bad product if you're going to be using it for that purpose. So in summary, I think that this could be actually a really useful product 
in certain situations like a sump, a marine sump where you want high carbon and you want to flush out something from your water with a power head on one side of this this could be a really really useful item the problem with it is the way that it's marketed it's really dishonestly marketed on Amazon to be a product that will do everything for your aquarium essentially they tell you to put this in your fish tank and all your problems will go away and be solved and that is far far from the truth as to what a block of activated carbon can do if you were just looking for something to put in your tank to remove some tannins remove some odors and so on the properties that we know carbon can do this would probably be excellent put it in front of your filter let it run for a couple of weeks and it probably would make your aquarium a lot less cloudy or yellow or smelly is it a scam no in my opinion it is not a scam it's just badly marketed so thank you so much for watching i hope you've been interested in this content i will leave a little link for this in the description if you want to have a look at this product a bit closer um, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thanks to my channel members and patrons once again thanks for watching and happy fish keeping